them mannequins moved. <gasps> there's a Ouija board. Should we do that first? <gasps> the mannequins are all waiting for us at the bottom of the stairs. And there's one outside. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, Grojan here. Today we are going to be having a look at an early access game called Paranormal. Now in this game you're walking around your house looking at hauntings through your video camera. So let's go and see what it's like. We are going to go to tape one, the house, I hope, if it works. It's, Here we uh, go. It's Friday, July 1st, 2011. Hello, my name is Mattel Clark. I'm an artist and I've come to believe that my house is haunted. Lately, things have been going bump in the night. Hold things on. have been going bump so, in the night. I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here, and I've started recording things to try and prove to people that I'm not going crazy. <laughs> this is the studio. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, don't mind the posing mannequins. I picked those up at Amazon. They help me visualize the 3D space when I'm working on my sculptures. Get yeah, anything from Amazon now. Works in progress over there on the mat. Hopefully something will happen here in a second. Really trying okay, so we got a mannequin looking out the back door. And I'm not trying to get famous on the internet. <laughs> trying to get famous on the internet. Right, we can't still move yet, so we're just waiting. Okay, so we've got mannequins in the house. We are in the living room. Let's see what's that on the table we've got a laptop oops okay i agree to the terms of use on this side uh, i don't actually know what that is <laughs> oh we need to resume resume can we back off this yeah we can we've got a telly remote got a little telly there picture on the wall what's this i had no idea what that was but it just made a funny noise okay something's just moved something's just moved oh there was a mannequin by the front door and there isn't now let's see if we can open the door what about the light? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not turning the lights off. <laughs> that was dark. Right, let's have a little look around, see what we've got. Over here, we've got some there, things to do. Finish Atlas, fix basement door, fix um, screen door jam, open car, clean car, put groceries away, take a bath, Google, home history, the bottom, sleep the fucking day away. <laughs> All right, so there's a mannequin looking outside. Can we go out there? We can. It's a bit wet. It's a bit wet. Oh, God. What was that? What the hell was that? Uh, I, I'm all turned around. Let's get back in. Let's get back in. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> I'm going to shut that door. Shut that door. So our video camera's got, like, uh, the bars on it at the top right there. And I don't know what happens when it runs out. I don't know what happens when it runs out. So... Is that a speaker? It looks like a speaker. He said he's got cameras scattered around. We can't open the fridge. I don't like when the camera does that. It's kind of like a motion sensor. Like, um, it's going to end up making me motion sick. But we're going to have a little walk around anyway. And there's still a few more rooms to check out by the looks of it. We've got that room over there in the corner. We've got... Have them mannequins moved? I'm not actually sure. Got a hoover there. Right, we've got this little creepy room here, which looks like... I don't actually know what it looks like. It's weird, though. Got a ladder. We can't go up it, though. It's a shame. It would have been cool to see up in the loft. The attic. Got a door there. That one's locked. It sounds like the noise is going louder and louder. Right, we got it. Oh, shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Turn the light back on. I thought that was going to be the light for the garage. Oh. Well, that's just moved. Can't turn the radio off. There's a screwdriver there. We've got our car. Oh, the lights have just come on. Weird thing is, right? The car has got no do window, no doors. <laughs> this car's got no doors. I'm going to shut that because I don't like it. we got a picture on the wall. Oh, there's a mannequin blocking the front door now. Got a couple of keys there. Right, we've checked all downstairs. Should we go back upstairs and see what's up there? It's a bit dark up here. There's a video camera there. There's a video camera. It's pretty dark up here. We've got a door that's been boarded up. We've got a letter on the table. June 27th, 1983. Marcus came home from work today seeming really flustered. When I asked what was wrong, he yelled at me and threw the bird's cage to the floor. That was our first pet together. July 1st, 1983. I don't understand why Marcus... 
Marcus has been so stressed lately. I know being a teacher is tough, but the least he could do is talk to me about it so I can help him. July 4th, 1983. Fireworks are going off. Marcus hasn't returned home from work yet, and we're going to go watch the fireworks together. Another lonely night at home, just me and all the wine I can find. July 5th, 1983. I got the call today. The police found Marcus dead in his Ooh. own classroom. I have trouble even thinking about this. It hasn't even fully sunk in yet, I suppose. Okay. But is gone forever, and I never got to say goodbye. Is that who's going to be haunting the house? Is he the one going to be haunting the house? Right, look at our batteries on the camera. I've gone down a little bit. We can't seem to walk in a straight line. This feels like we're drunk. Now we've got some candles there. We've got a fish tank. We've got an outdoor window. There's some creepy, creepy music. Press E to sleep and charge the camera. Okay, well, we'll look in the bathroom first. We've got some taps. A soap. Razor. What the hell is this? God. Great. Your camera will die soon. Go and find a bed. Okay, so we sleep to recharge the camera. Oh, there's a Ouija board. Should we do that first? D. I. It's gonna say die. It's gonna say die. We know it. We know it. <laughs> I don't know how long this game is, but what I've noticed before is it doesn't seem to have a save option. So. I don't know whether I'd have time to full record a full episode or not, so we will play about half an hour of it or so, see how it is. And if it's any good, we can all... Oh, God, what did we do? Oh, the camera. Um, if it's any good, we can always come back and do a longer playthrough when I've got a bit more time. Okay, so we're looking at the camera in the kitchen. So that wasn't a speaker, it was a camera. It doesn't look like anything's going on. It's quiet at 1 o'clock in the morning. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Sounds like someone's running. How are you going to sleep with noise like that? How can you sleep with noise like that? You would proper crap yourself in the night if you heard that noise. Is it like an earthquake? It's like an earthquake. <gasps> Who was that? You would never sleep again. You'd never sleep again. Um, it's a bit dark. We need to wake up. <laughs> Our battery's fully charged. Okay. But did we just... What happened to the fish? We just collected the fish. <laughs> oh, weird. That's weird. Right, let's just double check the bathroom. Nothing seems to have changed in yet that I can see. A door is... Oh, shit. We just fall over. We just fall over. I don't know. That's the letter we've already read. Let's get down the stairs. Oh, the mannequins are all waiting for us at the bottom of the stairs. And there's one outside. Oh, we can't get down. We can't get down. we got to go back up. Oh. Oh, shh. What the hell is going on? The one outside is gone. Mannequins have all moved. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay, so our, our thing on the thing still says the same. Do we want to go outside here? Oh, there's a picture of there. Picture on the wall that wasn't there before. Looks like a mannequin in a hallway. Let's go and have a look outside. I don't really want to do this, but we will. We will anyway. What is that? Just a barrel. There's nothing there. The rain stopped. That's good. Someone broke our window. Even that thing over there looks creepy. Doesn't it? Shut the... Oh, a phone's ringing. Where's the phone? Sounds like over there to our left. Is that another letter on the right? There it is. Yeah. A haunting, if you will. You 
described moving objects, noises at night, things like that. Has this continued? It's gotten way worse. Whatever it is, it's not happy that I'm here, and some serious shit has been happening. It has already. Do you get the feeling that it wants to harm you in any way? Has it, has it tried to communicate at all? I get the feeling that it wants me dead and gone, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. That Ouija me too. Board that I set up at the Don't use a Ouija board. It's if too late now. You're letting this entity know that you're willing to communicate with it. Then how the hell else do I get rid of it? You can't. Communicating with it will... We can't. We've got to live with it forever. Things are accelerating. You may not be safe. If you leave, it will more than likely follow you, no matter where or how far you go. Well, that's no good. Do you understand me? I guess. Well, where do we go from here? There's nothing you can do alone. But I am going to help you as best I can. Okay. I'm going to give you the number of a colleague of mine. He's a demonologist. We've been friends for many years. This sort of situation is something that he can help you with. Demon. Number two, Dr. Powell. Oh, it's the phone. It's that's the kind of phone. Powell. Hey. Hello. Well, that's no good. We didn't get the number for the demonologist, did we? <sighs> right, let's go. Was that a letter over there? It is. August 11th, 1984. I'm not alone in this house. I can feel Marcus. Marcus, I thought so. He knows about Jeremy. He knows about the baby. I'd never been a religious woman, but I need Christ right now more than ever. <laughs> August 23rd, 1984. I woke up this morning only to find Jeremy dead in the bathtub. Oh. The water was red with blood. Marcus did this. He killed his own brother. My only reason for living is the baby within my womb. September 2nd, 1984. The lights keep flickering. The banging noises won't let up. The doors keep slamming. Marcus Can I the doors now? September 7th, 1984. I wish you would kill me already. Kill the baby. I don't even care. Just stop the pain. I hate him. I hate you, Marcus. I She's in a bad way, isn't she? She's in a bad way. What the hell was going on in here? Don't know, but let's um, let's go and look around before our battery die. What the hell's going on with the camera when it's doing that? Okay, so we still got we've got a Hoover there. We can't use it. We can't click on the mannequins, which is good, I guess. Can we still not get through this door? No, can't. Okay, there's nothing still in this room that we can see. Back to the garage, maybe. Oh shit! The hell? <laughs> right, what's that on the floor there? Oh, it's just a power socket. You can hear more music. Is that coming from the car? Nothing's going on in here. We just got a car making music on its own. <laughs> right, get out of here. I've got cre I've got goosebumps already. Right, still guarding the front door. We still got our clock up there. Stop. Stop what? Okay. It must be... No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> right, there's another mannequin at the top of the stairs. Can we not get past him no more? Can we get by? Can we get by? No, we can't. Oh, you just fell. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go and check around up here again before... I guess... I guess we've looked... We've seen all the stuff in the house that's going to happen. Because we've been in every room, right? Or have we? The stuff making horrible noises. I think it does sound like time for sleep, though. Yeah, press E to go to sleep and charge the camera. It's a little bit creepy, isn't it? It's a little bit creepy. We're looking on the landing. Is that picture the same as what was there? Like a little baby with a skull. Okay, going to sleep will trigger a new day with new hauntings. What the hell is that? We got a picture of a mannequin on the wall. And there's one floating. Oh, God. <gasps> He's got a mask on. He's got a mask on. What about you? Another picture of a mannequin on the wall. It's, how do we wake up from this? Do we have to sleep again? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we sleep again. <laughs> right, we have woke up. It's middle of the night by the look of it. It's dark. Oh, God. I don't know what that noise is. Is it our camera or is it just... I clicked on the window. 
and it made a noise. It's just really dark in the bathroom. We got a light switch. Oh, the doors are shut. Right, nothing going on in the bathroom. So we're hearing doors creaking. We're hearing doors creaking. Why have we got the lights with the Ouija board there, though? That's so mad. One of the Michael Jackson posters is gone. Can't click on them. That door is still blocked up. Let's get downstairs. The eyes are lighting up red on the on the picture. Right. Downstairs. Oh, the telly's on. And the lights are gone off. Oh, shit. Can't see. Oh, we have got a torch. The couch is floating. <laughs> wow, it's so dark. There's a picture of a red figure on the door. Wait, can we turn the telly off? Yeah, we can. Oh, oh, studio floor. I don't like this. Let's go and check this room first. We'll check that door. That's still locked. Still nothing else in here. Go and check the kitchen. It's creepy. Creepy. The house is evil on the wall. The swords are running in the sink. Go and turn that off if we can. Yeah, we can. Kettle. Why are we wobbling everywhere? Stop it. Oh, the kettle's boiling. Turn it off. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. He's just opened the fridge. He's just opened the fridge. <laughs> My God. That was horrendous. That was horrendous. What is this on the wall? Oh my god. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. And now there's just a picture of a head there. Well, something saying the house is evil is not wrong at all. It's not wrong. You leave. I wish I could, but someone's blocking the door. And what's that? Oh, can we get outside? The, the picture of the mannequin's gone off the hallway. Uh, why are we wobbling so much? It's gonna be sick. Right, let's get over these stones, see if anything's changed in the garden. It looks a bit brighter out here today, and it's not raining, which is good. That's just fell over. Rest in peace, boy. Oh, it's the grave. So he's buried here as well. It starts raining again. Come on, we got to get inside. Can you run a bit quicker? Oh, the phone's ringing again. The phone's ringing. We might be able to get some help. Abby, hey. Hey, I just got off the phone with Kyle. He said you were having trouble with your house or something. Yeah. Is everything okay? No. <laughs> you mean Kyle was actually concerned? No. Kyle was complaining like he usually does. Don't take it personally, though. Kyle's never lost a pet. I don't think he's ever had a pet. All right. Cory was a good dog, and finding him the way you did. What happened to the dog? Well, it's no wonder you'd be stressed out. Yeah. I'm not stressed. I'm. Anyway. Give myself. Kyle and Heather and I are meeting up at Gringo's later tonight. If you want to come along. Yeah, I'd love to go and get uh, out of the house. I don't know, Abby. I'm a little tired. All right. Well, if you change your mind. I'll keep it in mind. Bye. See you around, Abby. See you around, Abby. He sounds knackered, doesn't he? All right, let's go and shut the fridge. We can't. We can't. All right, let's go. Uh, anyway, we haven't checked. We haven't been in... Have we been in the garage on this day? No, I don't think we have. We've been in there. Uh, or have we? I think we went in there. Oh, God. Knives. I <laughs> sounded like knives. <laughs> Clock's glowing up. Oh, what's that? Weird. The car is still making noise in the garage. Is that a safe? Sounds like someone's banging to get in. We can't open the garage door, though. I can't do this walk <laughs> like this. Let me out. Right. I think we've checked everything we can check down here tonight. The couch isn't floating no more, though. That's good. That's a good sign. 
Can we see anything outside? Nope. Let's get back upstairs. Oh, shit. But there's no red lights on the eyes anymore, but there is a thing on the cross. What does that say? Three. There is no... There is no heaven, does that say? The other Michael Jackson's still there. Our wolf picture is still the same, but let's go and get some sleep. Go and get some sleep. It's a bit creepy, this. It's a little bit creepy. 1.29 a.m. Doesn't look like anything's changed. We've still got the cross on the wall, the door's boarded up, the picture is still creepy. Oh, now there's a woman in the middle of the floor. And now she's gone. That's good. That's good. <laughs> nice. Are we going to see the kitchen? Are we going to see the kitchen? Maybe not tonight. Hey, we are waking up. The graphics look mad because you're looking through a video camera and it's all candy. Oh, oh, that still says don't sleep. Do we want to talk to the Ouija board again? Do we? I don't know. Like the bathroom still looks like the bathroom. We just had... Oh God, who's that? What's he doing out there? <laughs> he looks like he's coming from the garden. Ah. Uh. Wobbling all over the place. There's someone banging on this door now. What is it? Stomping? I don't know. Uh, I don't know whether that's the sound of someone running around or if it's like banging on the walls or floors or what. Hey, we got our light back on. The couch is no longer floating. Right, let's go the opposite way around today. We'll check the garage. See a poltergeist on the radio. Oh. So many noises. So many noises. Right, let's get to the kit. Uh, that, we'll go to that room. There's more writing on the wall. The pipes. What pipes? That's not opening. Blood on the pipe. Oh, so there's a pipe still. Let's get in here. Check that. There's nothing on that wall. It's making me so dizzy. Is that another? I thought that was a letter then. We've read that one, haven't we? But it still just says the house is evil. Doesn't look like there's much change today. So far. Why is that in the kitchen? That weren't there before, was it? With the chairs already on the table as well. They might have moved. Oh, phone's ringing. Don't know what that is. It's like some grumble, growling in the background. Weird ghost talkings. Someone's knocking. Hey, right, we have had enough of you. Oh, shit! We've got to go and check outside, I think. Because we haven't been out there yet. You leave, yes, I'd like to. I really would like to, but it's not letting me. It's not letting me. It's gone sunny outside. Uh, dogs. This is a dog. Is it ours? Right, it's not an outside here, apart from horrible noises. Someone is hammering on all the doors or windows. I don't actually know, but it's... We're locked out. We're locked out. How do we get in? Oh, God. Can we go through the window? No. There's got to be another way then, right? Gotta be somewhere for us to go. Can we turn this? No. Alright, we might just have to go back to the door and hope for the best. Hope it's open. Because I'm not seeing anywhere else for us to go. Oh, it's open again. I don't know whether I want to be in the house, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it 
It's not nice, this. Not nice. Oh, shit. Not even happened then. Who are you? I can't move. Can't move. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. There's a box on the floor, though. Not on outside. There's loads of books on the floor up here and a chair on the floor. What's this? Okay, this thing still work. Alright. Um, Dr. Schroeder, I'm doing those recordings like you told me to do. I have your list here. And, um, I'll just do as many tapes as I have to do for our next appointment. Alright, let's take a look. Our battery's getting a bit low. We need to sweaty up. My name is Mattel Clark. I live What's that, us? By myself. I moved out with my parents, uh, from my parents' place a few years ago. I'm an artist. I live at home. And, um, I didn't use to live for Um, I had a great dog, a Labrador named Cory. And, um, this is so stupid. What happened? Okay. No. I had a Labrador named Cory, and on November 12th, I heard him yelping at the bottom of my stairs. I came down, and he was just kind of lying on the on, in a heap. I um I I got him to the vets, and. Uh, they said he was fine, they just said he had fallen, that he'd be okay in a few days. But he didn't get okay. Just day in and day out. He stayed at the bottom of the stairs. He just comes to bed. staring up them. He didn't we knew there was something in the house. came over on the 21st and we brought him to the vet again and Dr. Mata gave me the option of putting Corey down. It was nine days later and the dog hadn't got better. Fucking insurance for your pets or something. I had to put him down. Sad. Still talking though, I think. I heard him say it's stupid. But I think he's finished now. Right. Let's go and recharge our camera. Let's go and recharge our camera. I think we've done everything for the day. Let's see what the next day brings us. Nothing's happening. And something's happening now. Did you hear that noise? Who are you? It's like a... Uh, a weird mannequin devil looking at us. Look at the horns on the head. Can we talk to you? M. A. What? <laughs> well, we don't know what that said, but I think this is the lady. Angel from hell. As I say, very filthy, the fish. And I can't see what it says on the left one. Oh, and then it's got a Ouija board for communication. Oh, so these must be the things that we found. These must be the things we found. I wonder if we got to find some stuff. First, something at the bottom. Oh, no. Did, was that the end of it? Did we finish the house? 
<laughs> the angel of death coming took us away. Oh, was that us? That wasn't us dead on the floor, was it? I don't know. But that seems to be where it finished. Everyone, thank you. It was fun. It was fun. It was a bit creepy. I think there's more things to try as well. That was the house. I think there was two more things that we could try. So we might come back and do them at another time. But I, I had fun. It was good. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you are new here, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the like button. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. We have got a Discord server. If anyone is interested, the link is down below. Come and join us. Say hello. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.